In a small village, there was once a farmer who sold a pound of butter to the baker every few days. One day, the baker decided to check, am I really getting one pound of butter? Is that actually the weight? And then he found out that it actually was not. And this angered the baker, and so he decided to take the farmer to court. The judge asked the farmer if he was using any measure to compare the weight to determine what is a pound. And the farmer replied back, Your Honor, I am poor. I don't have a proper measure, but I have a scale. The judge asked, Then how do you know how to weigh the butter? The farmer replied, Your Honor, long before the baker started buying butter from me, I bought a pound loaf of bread from him. Every day when the baker brings the bread, I put it on the scale and give him the same weight in butter. If anyone is to be blamed, it is the baker. In Luke chapter 6, verse 38, we read these words, Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Have you been in a situation recently where you feel like you've been treated unfairly? Maybe you ordered a cup of coffee and it was only two-thirds full. Maybe you were forced to wait for 30 minutes by someone who came late and they didn't respect your time. Maybe you didn't get the right recognition for something that you did. When we are treated un unfairly, unjustly, there's a strong urge for things to be made right. There's a strong urge for fairness. And yet, when we read the Bible, we realize that what Jesus wants us to focus on, what God wants us to focus on, is not about how bad we were mistreated, but more so on how generously we treat others. It says here, Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap, for with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. With the measure you use, it will be measured back. Just like this baker uh, wanted to get a pound of butter, and he needed to make sure he was doing the right weight so that he could get it back, in the same way, we need to make sure that we are the first ones being generous. We are the first ones being willing to give, not focusing on how others mistreat us, but focusing more so on what we are doing to be generous to others. And the number one motivation for us should be the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. We deserve to die. We deserved eternal separation from God. And yet instead, God blessed us with eternal life with Him. We deserved a punishment. We deserved condemnation. And instead, because Jesus Christ took our punishment on the cross, we have blessing from God. And so if we see how God treated us, not according to fairness, according to His grace and mercy, we are also to have the strength, to have the desire to treat others graciously and mercifully, to give them a measure overflowing like the way that God gave us grace overflowing. May God give us strength when people treat us unjustly, not to focus on the injustice, but to focus on Christ and His grace and mercy and to treat others just like God treated us.